So for the last few weeks or so, these BBC ident interruptions keep on happening for Doctor Who's 60th anniversary. You might be thinking, oh, that's a pretty cool piece of marketing, like maybe they'll just show some new footage, but they wouldn't have any secret messages for us in there, would they? Yes, they would. Okay, not one, not two, but three teasers have been released so far and they, they didn't put these up on their YouTube channel. These are just playing on the TV, on iPlayer um, and of course us Doctor Who fans have found them and pulled them apart frame by frame. So for those of you who haven't seen it yet, I'll play all three trailers for you right now. This is the edge of creation. These are the rules of the game. Ooh, they're kind of fun, kind of weird, kind of creepy, but we did see a lot of new footage there. A lot of weird stuff. Hmm. But the strangest thing happens when you play this footage in reverse. We'll start with the latest teaser that they just released. <laughs> You're in everyone's head. Did you hear that? I'll, I'll play it again. So David Tennant's 14th Doctor has said he got in everyone's head. Hmm, I wonder who we could be talking about. I mean, of course, it's the Celestial Toymaker. I mean, uh, Neil Patrick Harris. We don't know if he's a Celestial Toymaker yet, but it's very much looking like it. Anyway, thinking Neil Patrick Harris's character is using some form of mind control on all these people. We did see some filming where it looks like he's, you know, causing all this chaos around him. Um, so, you know, the, the Toymaker kind of like control their own reality, make things seem not as they are, which is going to be a very, very fun thing to explore in the 60th, if that does end up being true. But along with all this cool new footage and marketing, there was a bunch of just binary code on the screens, just everywhere, like flashing like that. Um, and luckily, shout out to Agnor on Twitter for spotting these, um, but he's actually translated some of them. So let's have a look, shall we? This first one here actually translates to SOS in Morse code. So they're using binary to Morse code to something that we can understand, which is very strange. Next one translates to ha ha, piano, ha ha ha. Why are you, why are you laughing at me, huh? Piano, hmm. Doctor Who might have a musical episode in the future, or maybe, maybe it's got something to do with Jinx Monsoon. Looks like a piano on the costume, that's all I'm saying. Next one translates to legend, ha ha ha. Legend, ha ha ha. Are you, you calling me a legend? I appreciate that. Or are you talking about the other legend, the legend that we all know and love, Legend of the Sea Devils? <laughs> the next one translates to ha 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 ha, teeth, ha ha. I mean, I'm really enjoying all this laughter. Maybe laughter will be a, a big part of the 60th. Maybe part of the mind control is making people laugh uncontrollably. I don't know. I don't know. But the teeth there might very well just be a reference to David Tennant. You know, whenever he regenerates, he has to point out the, the teeth, that his teeth are the same or he got new teeth. And then if you look over here, you can see Eurovision 1305 2023. And I will have more on that later. All right, let's move on to the next trailer. I'm going to put that one in reverse and see if we can hear anything. She mentioned Gallifrey. Now, we can hear David Tennant say, she mentioned Gallifrey. Now, I think what's happening here is that he's referring to Donna um, about her memories coming back, possibly. You know, maybe he's having a conversation with Sylvie and yada, 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 and she mentions, oh, yeah, she said something about Gallifrey. And he's like, she mentioned Gallifrey? Because um, maybe her memories are starting to come back or maybe her memories are finally fine after all this time? I don't know. That's just my running theory. But I think the person that mentioned Gallifrey will in fact be Donna. And then a lovely other bit of binary says, Allons-y. Hmm, I wonder who that could be referring to. Just on a side note, I feel like it's a really cool initiative on the BBC to just include all these secret codes because a lot of people on Twitter are having an absolute field day trying to dissect everything. And I was like, why are they, why are they using binary? And then I remembered this scene. You know you can fix that chameleon circuit if you just tried hot binding the fragment links and superseding the binary, 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 binary. I'm fine. I think someone pointed out the other day that she actually says binary 14 times in that scene. 14. Foreshadowing? 14 shadowing? I mean, come on! 
And then, of course, in this trailer, we see Eurovision spelt backwards and more on that later. Trust me, it's it's going to be big. And another weird thing with these trailers that they seem to be subtly using footage from series like four of Doctor Who when, you know, David Tennant and Catherine Tate were around. Like, look at this. I mean, look at that. That's that's definitely old footage. Well done to Lords on Twitter for spotting that out. Good job. But let's start where it all began. Let's start with the first teaser and we'll put that sh in reverse. Cryptic. I hate that. Why did this face come from? So the doctor says cryptic, I hate that, which is very cheeky because, you know, all of us know this is very cryptic and we've solved it. So ha ha, ha ha, teeth, ha ha. And then Donna says, why has this face come back? Which is awesome. And I really, really hope they delve into that aspect of the 60th anniversary because, you know, David Tennant's back. You know, it's kind of a first for Doctor Who having, you know, someone that was the doctor be the doctor again. And I really want them to explore that. And I hope there's a reason for it. Maybe there's not a reason. Maybe there's not a reason at all, but I just want that discussion to happen. I want them to go Go into it, okay? Get into it! Yeah. yeah. The strange thing with this one, all the binary in this one just spells out the Star Beast, which is of course a fourth Doctor comic that introduced Beep the Meep, who we know is going to be a big part of the 60th anniversary. I mean, these are just so cool. And in that comic, I think Beep the Meep is actually able to possess soldiers and help them uh, rebuild his ship so he can leave, which I think is exactly what we just saw in that trailer, you know, with that unit soldier going... <laughs> So wow, that was a lot to decipher there, but you're probably wondering, hey, what was what was the deal with the Eurovision stuff? Why do they keep on mentioning Eurovision? Well, it is my firm belief that we will get a 60th de-glitched trailer uh, at the Eurovision finale, which is this weekend. And I think Catherine Tate, they just announced that Catherine Tate has a big part in it. I don't know if she'll be hosting or something. Um, but Catherine Tate will be there, I think. With the whole coronation and Eurovision, you know, a lot of eyes are on the UK right now, and Doctor Who most definitely would not let an opportunity like this go without being able to market something and say, hey, you know, we've got the 60th coming around. Here's a brand new trailer. Here's some brand new footage. I really do hope it's a trailer. It's been five months since we got that one all the way back at Christmas. Um, so, you know, it's it's time. It's time to get some hype coming around. Some Time for some hype, please. But whatever it ends up being, I will be reacting to it and breaking it all down on this channel. So, of course, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe already. What are you doing? What are you doing? One thing I will note, which I usually do say in these videos for some reason, I saw some Twitter discourse about, oh, wow, they're just copying the Flux marketing because I don't know if you guys remember that they're was like a similar thing that happened with Doctor Who series 13, which is really, really cool. You know, BBC ident interruptions isn't, you know, this isn't the first time they've done it. You know, they did do it in series 13, but of course it, they, series 13 weren't the first ones to do it. Uh, they also did it for Peter Capaldi and Matt Smith. Regardless of all that, I think this is a really, really cool bit of BBC marketing for the show. I, I honestly think it's such a fun thing for the fans to find and dissect because they knew we would. They absolutely knew we would, that we don't, we don't have high like definition versions of these. These are just on the television and yet we still were able to crack all the binary, look at all the new footage and break it down because that's what Doctor Who fans do. We're insane. But please leave your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think we're going to see this weekend? Do you like the trailers? Did I miss anything in the trailers? Please let me know in the comments below. And as always, please like this video. Please subscribe if you've not already. And we'll see you very, very soon for something 60th related. Hopefully. Anyway, allons-y.